Hey guys, Argon Matrix here, and wait, 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 wait. We're back in part 27 of this Let's Play. What's going on here? Didn't I already post this and I had commentary with Devonian Pones Noobs 3 and stuff? Yes, I did, but due to technical difficulties, which are a bit complicated to understand, I explained them a little bit in an update video recently, but yeah, I'll probably link that in the description if you want to, if you haven't seen it yet. So yeah. Because of that, I had to take down the first two videos of our co-commentary, and now I'm going to go ahead and redo the temple all by myself. And I'm sure he'll be back for other co-commentators later, but yeah. For now, it's just me all by my lonesome. Fun times. Okay. Yeah, so we're just going to smash through all this stuff or get stopped by a flagpole. That's that's great, too. Ow. Oh. Jeez. Okay. So, Yeah. Um, because of the fact that, whoa, I almost, <laughs> I don't know what happened there, it kind of, it looked like I fell off, but apparently not. Okay, but yeah, like I'm trying to say, um, okay, can, I just want to get rid of the, okay, I'll, I'll just talk while I fight these guys. Okay, like I've been trying to say, um, due to the fact that I had to scrap all the episodes of Snowhead Temple because of technical problems, it also means that I had to... Uh, restart the game from like the last point I went back in time and play back up to this point again uh, I've had to do that previously it wasn't too it wasn't as bad this time but it was still kind of bad and now uh, you won't get to see me fail as much in the temple because I because I know it better now now that I've already played through it once not too long ago all right here's the great fairies fountain by the way full of all these green snotty fairies ew Yep, so as always, we're, or as with the last temple, since we've only really done one temple in this game, we're going to have to collect all 15 stray fairies and bring them back there for a special reward. Hooray. Alright, yeah. So, I guess I should probably get on with this. Uh, please forgive me if my commentary is not the best when, while recording this temple, because, well, I've already rec recorded it and everything, and yeah, it's just, I I might not have the best commentary ever, because I won't have stuff to talk about a lot. Yep. Snowhead Temple, oh yeah. And a lot of you have already seen me play through this now because of those two episodes that I deleted. But oh, what the? Hmm, this is kind of bug. It's going to take more than average strength to remove this thing. Okay, but, ah, oh my god, no, evil, evil white bows, go away. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. so this might be a little bit redundant for those of you who watched the first two episodes, or f for the original episodes 27 and 28 of this Let's Play, because you've already seen me do this, so why would you want to watch me do it again? I don't know, for commentary? Maybe. Alright, so this is the first room it looks like, there's a locked door here, there's an icy thing covering this, and there is a open door here, or unopened door, excuse me. I know, I'm a grammar Nazi. Okay. Um, yeah, Tattle, what do you want? At slippery places like this, you can curl up as a gore and then roll your way across. Why don't you try it? Don't you think I already know that by now, Tattle? Gosh. That was like the main puzzle in getting to this point. As far as, like, Snowhead goes, anyways. Alright, so, um, you can actually see a stray fairy down there. And you'd think it would be just as easy as shooting that with your arrows and having to come to you with the Great Fairies Mask, right? That is where you'd be wrong. Because if you look at it with the lens of truth, damn it, there's a wall down there. Look at that. Look at that crap. So we're going to have to wait until later to be able to get that. But not much later. Okay. Uh, I don't know if these guys can freeze you while you're rolling. Apparently not, because otherwise it would have been frozen right there. Yeah. Uh, oh, I also need to give a shout out or thank you or something to Caver, uh, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it or not, you can pronounce it many different ways, but, um, he sent me a list, or three lists, actually, of all the locations of the heart pieces, stray fairies, and masks in this entire game. So those will be actually really helpful in helping me figure out which ones I have and which ones I don't. So, yeah, thanks to him. Go check him out if you want. Okay. Yeah, come to me, my stray fairy. You are awesome. 
That's the first stray fairy of the dungeon. Hooray. Yeah. These, fa these stray fairies in this dungeon don't take too long to get, I figure. And I know that because I've already obviously beaten this temple, so. Yeah. Okay. Can I please hit that? Thank you. Okay. And come up. Come up. Thank you. Yay. Alright, um, over here, I guess. There's one thing I can pick up over here, I think, at the moment. And, uh, well, there's two if you count that stray fairy that just randomly flew through the wall at me. Okay, watch it go boom! Cool. But yeah, the only other thing that's really here is, um, is this chest. And, oh, I'm opening a chest with a gray fairy's mask on. That's gonna look so ridiculous. Just watch this. This is just. Ah, uh, what the hell? No. Okay, dungeon map, yeah. Take that, take off that flippin' mask, dude. That ain't cool. Okay, so, that's the dungeon map for you. And we're just gonna go ahead and move on here. Yep. Hmm. Oh, and welcome to the main hub of the Snowhead Temple. Yeah. This, this room right here, this is why I hate this temple. It's probably my least favorite temple in this entire game, maybe even in Zelda history, though that can be a tough call. I think it's probably between this one and the Water Temple and Twilight Princess. You thought I was going to say Ocarina of Time, didn't you? No, that one's not all that bad if you get used to it. Okay, um, what's over here again? I don't know. Yeah, oh yeah, this place. Okay, so we can just pull up these blocks here and move them along. This is rather tedious, so... Uh-huh. Yeah, but as a kid, I got stuck on this temple for so freaking long. It was at least a few days that I was stuck in this temple, and only because of, like, one puzzle. I was doing perfectly fine, or mostly perfectly fine, except maybe some stray fairies, up until one point in this dungeon, which you will see probably in the next episode, maybe two episodes from now. But, yeah, and that's a chest that we cannot reach. Oh, what well, I wouldn't give for the hookshot right now. I would just see what break the crap out of this temple. Okay, anything by back here? Yep, cool. What's this? It's small key. Yeah. Sometimes I miss that small key too, so don't forget about that one. It can be easy to forget. But yeah, you'll see that one epically, or not? Con well, it's a little confusing, but puzzle later on. Anyways, here's a little trick I picked up from Nintendo Capri Sun. Uh. You see that there's like ice blocking this here, and this actually leads back to the beginning, so it's like a shortcut. And you think you can't get rid of that, but you see there's a torch beside it? Well, take out your bow and shoot through the flame of the torch, and. Uh, why didn't that work? There we go. That's how you do it. Cool. Alright, uh, yeah. I didn't cut there. That was just your imagination, silly viewer. And yeah, so. That's a little trick I picked up from, I think I already said, Nintendo Capri Sun in his Let's Play of Majora's Mask. He did that. And it's actually very useful, because now we have a shortcut back to here. And I think this is pretty much where we want to go right now. I'll take out this guy first, I suppose. Not too hard, just backslice him. And here is where you want to use your key. Fun stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, it is kind of hard to commentate this temple, seeing as I've already done it. Like, not, not too long ago, like a few days ago, maybe a week ago is when I recorded this. Oh well, I'm- Ow! No! Gosh! Unfreeze, Link! Come on, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, and, wow. They make this chest as obvious as possible, don't they? They put it, like, almost literally smack dab in the center of the room. And what could it possibly be? None other than the compass. Cool. And there's another white wolf host around here. These guys are just littered all over the place. Do they really think this is a hard enemy? I mean, I suppose if you don't know the trick about slicing it in the back to kill it instantly, then they might be a little challenging, but for me, who knows that trick? That's really just a piece of cake. Alright, uh, no, I don't want to get out my bomb mask. I want to actually get out bombs this time. What? Why would you ever want to use bombs instead of just a bomb mask? Well, this is why. Because you see that there's a crate up there, so throw the bomb up, and ow! Well, I got hurt, but this stray fairy will heal me. Yeah! That's my fourth stray fairy? Cool. 
I think that I might have actually missed one already by now. Actually, I probably have. Oh, I have. Oh, my goodness. I missed a stray fairy. What? Inconceivable. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I missed one when I, like, ho I hopped. I was supposed to hop down to the bottom of this room that's in here. Because there's stuff that I should be doing down there. But I'm going to need the gore mask because there's hot lava down there. And, yeah. Okay, there's these guys, too, who are annoying. But press this switch, and... Ta-da! A chest appears in the lava. How it doesn't just randomly burn up, I don't know. I guess it's magical wood. Because you can just make it appear like that. Whoa, what the? Oh, I thought that the chest made me do that, but I accidentally just hit the C-stick. and That actually looked kind of cool with the bongo drums out and, like, the the green glow from the fairy on me. That was kind of awesome. Anyways, and just to get back up, just go up these stairs. Yeah. Alright, spiral staircases are awesome. Everyone knows that. Okay. So, now that I've gone back and... Yeah, that was my first instance of backtrack in this temple, and I didn't even have to do that. That's just to put myself at peace, because I would have been back in that room eventually. So, I don't know why did that anyways uh yeah i guess i'll get out the bomb mask this time since i don't want to be wasting all my bombs here and watch it go boom cool ah <sighs> yeah another thing that's common through this temple is actually these spiral staircases there's quite a few of them all right and in this room it looks like you probably can't do anything because there's just random ice around here like what what are you supposed to do? You don't have an item to get rid of ice. But actually, if you remember way back to how you actually got into the mountain area, there is a way to get rid of this ice. And this through use of these stalactites. So we'll just make them all smash against each other. And the and because ice is so brittle, when it smashes against itself, it breaks. I know, science is fun, right kids? Yeah. Uh, why do these each take two arrows? That's just monotonous. That's just busy work. That's what that is. Okay. Oh, I hit you. Yeah. Not much to talk about. Just doing the same thing over and over again. You don't even have to hit all those, really. I just like to. Because I'm a perfectionist. Blah, blah, blah. And, oh, I almost actually looked over this. You can see, like, this here... Where there's like snow that's just randomly coming out of the wall like that and just like stops at a definite point like this. That actually just signifies a secret cave. I think there's two instances of this in the entire temple. So make note of that. And I think they both lead to stray fairies too. So cool. Don't forget to get those then. Alright, hop back up here and over. Over, 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 miss, fail, face palm. Stop just narrating what you're doing. Uh, oh, my phone beeps. I don't know if you heard that in the background. Probably, because it's so loud. But, yeah. I set up my phone so that it just beeps whenever something gets emailed to me, which is usually a sign that something on YouTube or Facebook has happened. Yeah. Okay, so that's a free 60 rupees in this room. Why they do that, I don't know. Just because they like being nice. Okay. Yeah. And, oh, that's another 10 rupees right there. So that's like another. That's a free 75 rupees. Free 75 rupees just for coming into the room. Ain't that something? And in here, I'm guessing small key. Radio, I am. Though that shouldn't be a big surprise that I got that right. Because I've already done this, as I said before. Right? Okay. Oh, this room. This room, this room, this room. Well, first off, I'm going to clear out these white bows here. Yeah, because if you don't, they'll just get in your way later on, and it's pretty annoying. But, as, like, on my first run through of this game, I had a lot of trouble with this room. But, when I played through it on my first playthrough of the, for my LP, it actually wasn't that bad. I had to do this room, like, three times, too, so I got pretty good at it in the end. But, there was one thing that I always seemed to do that just didn't make sense okay so first off you just want to smash that that blocks the door but it also allows you access to cross over here 
So, once you do that, you want to hop across. And uh, I'll just smash these crates just for fun. Yeehaw! Yeah, whatever carpenter put all those work into those crates, I'm sorry. Alright, now there's this green one. You want to smash this too. Oh, by the way, you have to use the Goron Pounds to hit these. As if that wasn't obvious already. Okay, and what I did last time was actually head down and go all the way around to the other switch over there. But you can just come over here, stand on this one, and hit it. Yeah, why was I going all the way around? I don't know. I mean, you can just do that, and it actually makes it a lot, makes you a lot more likely to make this in time. It's like, as you can hear, the timer's not even like counting fast yet. Well, now it is, but whatever. It wasn't when I started saying that. Shut up. Okay. So now back in the big hub room here, except one level higher. Yeah, that's basically the puzzle of the temple. Just try and get as high as you possibly can in this room, and you're good. So just launch ourselves across there. Oh my god! Spasm Goron against the ice. Goodness me. And... Come on, cross! Almost. Oh no! What? No! What? What just happened? What just happened? There, there that, There's a safety net there, though. I... <laughs> Safety net. Damn it! 